Hey again, so you guys gotta put up with me today. I was gonna talk about school, but then after seeing everyone else's videos, they basically covered everything. Except one thing I wanted to add is teacher's handwriting. Teacher's handwriting in German is... It doesn't make sense. It's just scribbles. They just go up to the board and just write so quick and it's just so... Everyone does cursive, you can't read. I mean, you can't even decipher, like, what letters or what. Sometimes, like, my notes don't even make sense. If you go through and read my notes, there's probably half the page is just made up words. Where I say, where I think it looks like a word, or I think a letter looks like something, so I just kind of do like the teacher does and just do random little scribbles. So, definitely, I don't know, maybe that's just in my school. But definitely crazy handwriting. Um... So I figured today I'd talk a little bit about spaciousness, maybe, or, you know, let's talk about organization. Germans are organized. My first week, or my first three weeks when I was with my temporary host family, my host sister said, don't let pe people think Germans are organized. Don't let them tell you Germans are organized. But no, Germans are organized, <laughs> at least for the most part. From what I've noticed, Germans are organized. So, like, recycling, you've already heard, there's, like, seven different bins for recycling, which I didn't even... For us, we have, like, maybe, like, four, and then you come here, and there's so many different... You recycle literally everything. Like, it's been said, they're really environmentally friendly, they're definitely ahead of the game. It got us beat. Um, also, cleaning, they're always, or at least from what I've noticed, a lot, like, my host mom here, my temporary host mom always did laundry. Laundry is done very often. The You're always cleaning. Our house is always super clean. My If I don't clean my room, my host mom's always kind of keeps pushing me like, oh, you should clean. Like, your floor is dirty. You need to vacuum. Um, so definitely like cleaning. Um, like you said, in the school with the fountain pens and the stepulo that's by us and... It, the notes are so organized. They underline everything. They use little triangle things so that the underline is perfect. They use colors. They color code everything. If a teacher uses a color on the board, the kid, the student will use the exact same color. It's, I don't know, the organization is crazy. And they since they don't have much space, they have a lot of, like, smaller cabinets or, I don't know, they, they're really good at storing, keeping things, like a lot of things, in a little amount of space. So, I mean, you're going to have to be organized with that, because if you don't, you can't make it with no space. Because here is tiny. I think Germany is the size of, like, Montana, with around 81 million people, which I don't even know if that's possible. 81 million people? I think Montana has, like, what, 2 million? And... This probably accounts for the streets that are, like, barely two car lanes wide. And most of the time, cars are parked on the side of the road. And people have to stop and let one car through so they can go through because there's not enough room for both of them. I don't even know how buses go through. Like, when I go to school in the mornings and I ride the bus, I don't know how I did. It blows my mind. They definitely know how to use their space. Very spacious. Like the houses and everything. They're so... A lot of them are extremely close together. Like buildings where you can fit your arm. Maybe only your arm in between them. And a lot of places there's houses like above. Like restaurants or like stores. I have noticed that Germany they build... Up, they don't really. I don't mean up like skyscraper up, but they definitely don't build out. Like they don't build wide buildings like houses. There's a lot of houses that look so tiny, and then you go inside, and there's so much room, so much space, and they. I don't know. They just have little like little appliances, little cabinets, little. I don't know. They just they know how to use their space because they're so organized. That kind of ties together somehow. Um, I guess that's long enough. I mean, that's not really...
too informative, I guess. Here's my rambling for this Wednesday. Last Wednesday, I failed at making a video. I made one, tried uploading it, but it was just being a pain. But the video was bad anyways. I mean, I just rambled for like seven minutes about, I mean, it was a little bit about organization, a little bit about this and that, and it was bad. And then it wouldn't upload, and I said, okay, I'll just make a new one. And then I didn't get time, and that was after I deleted it, so I figured I'd just wait this week and make a new one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if there's anything you want to know, anything you want to ask, I don't really know what to talk about. Like, this video is kind of, I guess, kind of lame, but yeah, definitely leave comments. I mean, if you want good videos, you got to leave comments. I need a little bit of feedback. Anyway, keep it under six minutes. Ciao!